Hey everyone, it's Beast from Blue Fact, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make a hybrid cannon or a cannon that can shoot through a wall covered in water. This is very helpful for factions, and this is a real wall, and that is a real cannon. Now, let me show you how to do this. I will be showing you how to make it, but first, I will demonstrate how it works. As you can see, the TNT and the sand go in the same hole. I mean, the same spot, and you can just go straight through it. I'll do it without flying just to prove it. And you just go straight through the base. Now, let me show you how to make it. Okay, so to make the cannon, you'll need about three stacks of blocks of any type. It doesn't have to be blocks of iron, I just did it because it looks good. However much sand you want, I always use about two stacks or so, just depending on how long it'll take you or how much sand it'll take you to can. Then, a button, a bucket of water, about 18 redstone about no 18 repeaters and a slab so you're going to start off by placing the slab here and i'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight and you're going to, want to place a block here so that's eight blocks from in between here and you're going to fill this in right here and fill it in here And then you're going to want to take your water bucket and put it right here. And this works, it should flow straight there. And if you remove that slab, it shouldn't flow anymore. And now, secondly, the next thing you're going to do is on this line right here, place nine repeaters four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and set them all to three ticks. Then place a block here and the redstone on top. Now, on this side, you're going to place redstone all along this line. And you're going to place a block here and have the redstone going off. You're going to place two blocks here. And on these blocks, you're going to want to go out like that and place a piston. Now, here, you're going to stack up with however much thing you want to use. I'll just do about, I'll go to 50. So that's 14 right there. And now, then you're going to want to take this. Oh, I forgot. I'm not creative. Just to show this can be done in survival. You're going to want to add this right there just for simplicity. You're going to fill that in. And now, you're going to want to place a redstone here. And right there. There we go. You're going to want to fill a line in here, not the one I showed you there. So you can just ignore this line here. I'll put the game move one, smash it. Okay, so on this line where this redstone is, you're going to want to put a redstone repeater here, set it to three ticks, and then place all the other repeaters you have. So there should be nine total. All to three ticks, by the way. Nah. Okay. And then you're going to want to take this. It doesn't matter where, but as long as it connects. That's the important part that this all connects. And then you're going to want to place your button here. And then when you hit it, it should activate all this, and these should go at about the same time. Now, you're going to want some TNT, of course, from this cannon. So, spawn. I'm going to spawn in the best deck. And then you're just going to want to place it here, 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 and in here. It, you can use as much as you want, and you may have to modify the can a little. But, and also, the, it, the amount of TNT you use depends on how far it needs to be. And then, if it works right, it should blow a hole straight into the base. And then you just go through the hole. But yeah, this is what it looks like. You need 18 repeaters, a piston, about... Two about a stack of blocks, um, maybe about half a stack of redstone, 18 repeaters, a piston, and however much sand you want, a slab, and a water. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks. Adios.